One of the areas in online education that I am very, very interested in is interactive content. And that's content that obviously students can interact with, that can be part of the platform, that can be, can be part of your learning management system. And it doesn't matter what learning management system is, but education should be interactive with students so that students can learn easier, learn faster, uh, and have a more immersive experience. And it's just more fun for them to be part of the learning experience than just sitting there reading text. So what I want to show you was a little bit of a, a sneak peek, or a little bit of a look at H5P. And H5P has been around for a while now. It's a product created in using HTML5. So it's web-based. It's designed to go inside web-based content. So that means it'll fit in your LMS. And it is quite interactive and it's relatively easy for you to create your own interactive content inside that. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples of what it does. And then you can let your mind go, your imagination go wild and come up with your own things that you can do using H5P and putting that inside your education content. So first of all, let's go to h5p.org and have a quick look at what it actually looks like and what type of interaction I'm actually talking about. So here's H5P. They're right in there, create, share, reuse, interactive HTML5 content in your browser. So this means it works on mobile devices too, inside a browser. You can see they have a collection of examples, some documentation, their roadmap, and a discussion forum all about their plugins. But let's go look at the examples first. So let's click on examples and go there straight away. And the first one that I think is actually quite clever, and um, it's one of the ones that I use quite a bit, or have used quite a bit, is interactive video. And interactive video, really cool, great little example. All I have to do is click on play inside the video and as it plays through, and I'll just pause it there, you can see that a little pop-up appeared with the ingredients list. And if we look down at the uh, the timeline just here, you'll see that there's a little dot called ingredients list. And as the playhead gets to there, the word ingredients lists appear and somebody can click on it. Now if I just let that play again from the start and stop interrupting you, we're watching the uh, smoothie thing. If I click on ingredients, the video stops and I can watch this now. One of the cool things about it is this video is just a YouTube video, so it plays off of YouTube. Now, quite clever, quite simple. And you can see there, multiple choice. If I click on that, it then asks me a multiple choice question about something to do with that video. So it's really cool because it's because it's in context and it's also interactive for students so they can learn more or take in more about the video they're watching rather than just sitting there consuming video. They get to go, oh yeah, what sort of berry is that? Oh, I'm sure that was a strawberry. Let's check. Yes, it's right. And then we can go on for the next part of it and watch through the rest of the video. So that's just one of the interaction types. Now, the question you're asking is, but how do I get that into my platform? Well, quite simple. There's an embed option, which is just like embedding a YouTube video, but it's embedding a bit of interactive content. Let's have a look at a couple more. Going to jump to hotspots, and this is where you can load an image up into the platform. You can then set some hotspots, and then students can click on those hotspots and find out more information just from a simple image and adding hotspots in the right spot. That just makes sense for students and make it more educationally useful. Now, notice there I clicked on that hotspot and it's gone off to a YouTube video. So it's not just text based like it is there, but it opens up videos as well. So there's hey, what's up YouTube everyone? Video. Today I'm going to show you how to make... Another YouTube video opens up that shows you how you can use... Hey, what's up everyone? Case, Today um, I'm going to show screen. you how to yeah. make this incredible... Cool. Uh, so that's a little hotspot. Another one, which is one I use quite a lot, is called Course Presentation. And it's sort of like creating your own mini PowerPoint, I guess, that has slides and students can click through them and then different content appears in those slides. One of the nice things about it is that you can format the layout of the content uh, very specifically so it stays in that format rather than being like HTML5 or HTML content in your web page that changes all the time for different devices. This one can stay in that same ratio, just sort of like a book. This one here is talking about berries. And if you go along the slider at the bottom or ask your questions uh, about berries, what country has a special section of cloudberry diplomacy in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I don't know because I didn't read the content, so I'm just going to say Sweden. Hey, you got it right. I can go to the next frame, and in this one there's a fill in the missing words. I'll go check I got that wrong. Then I can just go to another frame that just gives me some information. This one here jumps to another frame, 
So I don't know if you saw that there. If I go back to frame number four, click on jump to blueberries, it actually jumps over to this frame down the bottom. So you can see how the frames all work. So up to frame five of ten. You can embed videos inside frames as well. So it's a really nice layout and really useful. That one was still loading its background. And at the end of it, you can have quizzes or anywhere inside that you can have quiz questions and multiple choice and embedded videos and all sorts of things. It's a really, really clever uh, part of, HT, of H5P using the course presentation. But it's not just that. There is also inside all of H5P all of these other components that you can use or applications. Uh, there's an accordion which lets you set up a really simple accordion that you can use. All sorts of other things. Uh, I guess the answers and flashcards and uh, there's our image hotspots we had a quick look at. There's also an image slider. Um, this one here is actually really clever. You may find a useful scenario for this in education where you want to show a before and after and allow the students to drag across to see that's what it looked like during a flood and that's what it looked like before. So it's before and after a flood. And it's a really clever clever tool for them to use where the students actually get to interact with the content rather than just reading and consuming. They get to sort of play a bit more, which is very, very clever and really interesting. So that's H5P. Go and check it out, h5p.org. It's definitely worth a look. And like I said, the content or the, the things that you can create inside H5P, so you know, create yourself a free account, you'll be able to create your own uh, content you can then embed that inside your education content. That's H5P. I'm Chris Richter. I'll talk to you soon. See you at ricochet.com.au. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.